Turkey mix up. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple. What go on, my people? Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is alright. I want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Expect more from yourself than from others because expectation from others hurt a lot. While expectation from yourself inspire a lot. That is life. So be thankful for life. Let me tell you something this morning. Me only can't talk about myself. Me can't talk for you. I'm so happy to be amongst the living. Yes, people. Every day above ground is a blessing. Holy pa thing I go on in the news, you know. Holy pa, holy pa thing. But I can tell you something. Me I'm going to make Andrew a plus one favor. Hurry up and push up back the COVID numbers and lock down back the country. Yes. Hurry up and lock down back the country because the people are not here. Let me get this out of the way. You see when them they say no movement past Sunday, me and the holy pop people never they agree with it. And that's okay, don't know. So the church people have forgot church go pay them offering and them look at things they're not alone the pastor them want. But me can tell you something. Make back Sunday and no movement, you know, but not for them on the road. You notice how you lift look at no movement thing. People just had the daft so yes, people just got road and a crash and I do beer foolishness. Or you can push up the COVID numbers and lock down the place back for Christmas because we know that's a part time plan already. Anyway, people, we can go down to Westmore and go go to piece of the news. A 36-year-old man was gone down by an old assailant in Sheffield, Negril, Westmoreland on Sunday morning. He had been identified as Courtney Semester of Orange Street in the parish. Reported that residents reported heard gunshot to the community at about 3 a.m. Long after curfew hours, close to when the curfew was supposed to leave and alert the police. Semester was later found lying face down behind his motor vehicle with multiple gunshot wounds to his head and upper body. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Which part do I come from? Me, Beto no se, I rode the media idle and just a reach in at 3 a.m. You can hear, you will feel. The Savlamar police are investigating. Don't worry about yourself, they are going to keep on posting upon that. Like how many hours I am going up and over to St. James. 30-year-old Ryan Samuel of Paradise Crescent in St. James has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition following an operation conducted in his community on Friday. According to the police report, well on, for a rich police report, big idiot police, every day I come and I tell them the same thing, slap them away. Top carrying boy behind bars with gun. Top carry them in. That look at three years where they're going to play and get. Makes no sense. Me bet today any money if you need to pay for this food there, you know. I don't start to slap them when you go to man. Wait until them come out and say, you like me, I slap you your friend them. So you don't get too tight. Anyway, I can't get the paper in the news. A current report from the Freetown Police Law Enforcer spotted Samuel standing at a shop with a brown paper bag in his hand. Upon seeing the police, Samuel quickly went inside the shop and came out shortly after without the paper bag. I'm sure now the police them not smart after me telling where the police them do. Samuel was accosted and brought back inside the shop where a search was conducted and the paper bag was found under the counter. The bag contained a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 30 39mm round. The incident happened at about 8.30 a.m. Samuel was later charged after a question and answer session. His court date is being finalized. Well, I don't know that police. Let me tell you how to angle this operation. You, know. you see the boy go back, you know the shot go through down the back. All you needed was to do is just drive where I could never see. You understand? Go where I could never see and just put on a little piece of surveillance pan the area wait until the boy go back for the bag and I leave with the bag. And then you know, slap him with. Kies salve. Kies salve. You understand? You never do that. You is a big set of that. Anyway, now, remember me always come and me tell you, you say, this double life enough for them to live. It's going to catch up with them. Me always come and me tell you about it. You know? Not because you see them at work, me say them a good law abiding citizen. 
Enough of them are thief and criminal. Right now, we take a walk over with private ghetto. Cause pan chicken man gets slapped with. I don't know soon how we mix up in a. A jerk chicken vendor was shot and killed by unknown assailant in Portmore St. Catherine on Saturday night. The incident happened on the Brayton Main Road in the vicinity of the Texaco gas station. The deceased has been identified as Kayvon Davis. According to police report, Davis was shot and killed by unknown assailant. Hold on a minute, there is no such thing as unknown assailant. Him no who and him involved in a foolishness. So a them come film. Or them said man film. That's why him get when him get. And the people them over there same deserve. But I soon make hear that for myself. Anyways, make I continue. Them slap him with right time jerk chicken establishment at about 9.45 pm. The police were summoned and arrived on the scene to find the vendor lying on his back on the ground. He was transported to the mark paper because a dead, 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 dead body them pick up. If you don't believe me. Just go back, go look for the video in the group. I remember we posted the video from yesterday. And speaking of the video, the paper them come out and I talk about jerky, I live double life. Me and let's turn this on the double life and catch up with the Nina. Listen now for yourself. <laughs> Man, just really make a thing in a dog, watch man, dog. That one, no. Actually, I get it. Yo. Turkey, mix up. Holland, the people more than the past few minutes and put your hands together. Round of applause, round of applause. The community finally come out and attack each other. The community finally come out and talk in the truth. The man always tell you, know, once you speak in truth, the world will be a better place. See them come out and say, Jerky mix up. And never the chicken in my mix up in another pot. No, 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 no. And never this the jerky I go on it. Never make a nose of jerky I deal with that thing at night time. Half time done jerky little chicken. Come and say, Turfy will still go on, you know. So half time done jerky chicken, he go pick up him next nine to five. Say it now. He gets slapped. Jerky, I get to you deserve. To worry yourself. You see, like establishment the way I build. Somebody, I take it over and continue the jerky and chicken out there. And I'm after a fuck. They want jerky chicken in a nine night for you. So, you yeah, man, people come and you're free food. But as the paper, them say the police, them know exactly where you mix up in a long time. Them know say it's a mix up like a fella over there. And on a chicken alone, you mix up in a pot. Them know what else you cook. Anyway, now, paper. So, I come in the right out there's a panel like a crime scene there. We got to call it a chat, go down the road, the could be tango in and go The Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JSF, said it has not implemented social intervention program in Nagazed for more than a decade. The revelation came amid its call from the police for an increase in social intervention program in the community. Commander of the St. Catching South Police Division, Umina Fetel Noa O, Kazu Noa O already, said shooting and murder are on the rise in Nagazed. Managing Director of JSF Omar Sweeney says he can't confirm whether the community should be labelled as violent at this time. All in the sense, you know. But anyway, let me know exactly what I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, over the years, at JSF, we have had one intervention in Nagahe towards supporting youth engagement through sport. But, um, you know, in, in terms of the detail of the area, I wouldn't have that information, especially not currently. It's been more than 10 years since we have intervened over there. So we built a community center with a football field up there, I would say, more than 10 years ago. Typically, when we enter communities like that, we, we aim, of course, to tar we target unattached youth, and we aim to get them um, civil registration documents, birth certificate, passport, driver's license, etc. That will enable them to be attached to schools, jobs, skills training opportunities. And um, it's a way that we can ensure that, you know, that, you know what they say about idle hands, and, you know, so we want to ensure that they can become attached to 
productive activities and reduce the possibility and the potential for um, you know bad things to happen. So for the people that who always a come out and attack, so the youths them now the opportunity lies. Opportunities are there, but the youths them decide to watch on a man. Them now party, you understand? Them only want to pick up gun and ride bike and kill off themselves. And speaking of that, of all the accident out of St. Thomas, Jan was star. So much accident on the road, the people them now are here, you know? Come on, youth. Where name again? Where name again? Siva, brother. Yo! Yo! Siva, brother. Siva, oh. brother. I see an arm. No. Only mean by good people that they are road. See, they fool yourself now. Them don't know them name. Them only know about Siva, brother. And yet still, them show him that them vehicle and I try to help to save him life. But unfortunately, you kick him out. I can tell you something. Take on no time on the road. People down the tour, I guess I'm going to look more. Right turn, I can't know exactly what I want. Because the peace treaty broke. Yes, people. The silent peace treaty that they have around there broke. Holy Pashata bus. People are going to go there. And I'm going to go there. I know I'm going to give you a ball to ball comment. I'm going to go around there. So. so just keep back and wait for that. Because we have some exclusive for drop. So tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, forward and come check us out.